I have studied music. As a kid, I went to what we call in Sweden music school, where you after school go and learn how to play an instrument for a teacher. I played violin. After that, I went to what you might say senior high school, where I went to a program dedicated to music. Then I started playing piano and other instruments also, and then I applied for the university, where I did go four and a half years. But the music school doesn't teach you everything. Here are five things they don't teach you at any music school. First of all, having a business. Every musician I know that works professionally have their own business. They send their own bills, they pay their own tax and so on. And that is something you will never learn at any music school, not even the university, where I think you should learn some of it. At least get some information because it's a very important part of your professional work. That's number one. The second thing is to set your own value. How much should you charge for being a musician at a certain performance, a certain gig, a certain employment? And that differs also. Sometimes you have a lot more pre-work, maybe you have to write sheet music, maybe you have to practice more for a certain gig. But how would you set your own value for those, both as a rookie and as a professional? I find that very difficult still now, even if I've been a professional musician for 30 years. One of the hardest things to do, and they don't teach you that at music school. And one thing is also how to get the gig, how to get the performance, how, how to get employed. They don't teach you that at music school, and I understand why, because it differs so much from gig to gig, from genre to genre, to what are you playing? Are you in a band? Are you a freelance musician? Are you a hired gun? But some information would have been good about the endless phone calls, that you need a lot of contacts to other musicians and other uh, employers, and also production companies and so on, which might help or might not help. They have not helped me so much and the endless emailing and PR that you have to do yourself to be a professional musician. They don't tell you that you have to give up weekends, but you have to do it because you're working when other people are entertaining themselves, because you are the entertainer. And that is true for every musician, no matter what genre it is, because classical concerts are also in the weekends and you practice Friday and Saturday and you have the concert on Sunday. And if you play rock and pop music, the festivals, all those things, they are on the weekends. Forget about having free weekends or forget about having a lot of free weekends anyway, if you want to be a professional musician. The fifth thing that comes to mind is they don't teach you how to be a musical leader, how to be a band leader, how to be a conductor. Yes, you learn some of the conducting, the basics. You learn how to play your instruments, you learn how to hear things, you learn some music theory and so on. But not to be a leader, what to listen for, how to approach it, how to be make demands on your fellow musicians or the band or choir you are leading, conducting and what kind of demands, where to let it go, and what demands to set. That should be a part of the education on a music university, in my opinion. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, all the practical things of being a band leader and so on, watch my video about being a band leader, and, and you will know what a band leader does. And one more thing, they don't tell you that you're gonna be stuck with homework for the rest of your life. You're gonna be stuck practicing every day, taking care of your instruments, your, or if you're a classical guitar player, you're forced for a life in solitude and forever nail polish. They don't tell you that you never stop learning, so you're gonna be in school for the rest of your life. And that is the charm of being a musician. Now I gotta get back home because I have to pack for the weekend because I'm gonna go out for to entertain people who are entertaining themselves when they are free and I mean not free. <sighs> free in Swedish is Lea Dig. Lea Dig. Until next time, Roger.